This is my craft space before I got it organized, and this is it after. Wow, what a difference. I'm going to use desk made organizers to help me um, pull it all together and make it functional. We all have crafty space or homeschooling space or an office or a bathroom drawers or junk drawers, um, all kinds of spaces that could use a little more organization. And if, I don't know about you, but if I can see it, then I can use it. I'd rather spend my time crafting or working than um, hunting down the right color pen or trying to find a pair of scissors. I know I have them, it just takes so long to find anything. And also, all the junk just takes up all the space, my workspace. So, um, I want to get it all nice and organized. So I'm going to start with my die cuts. One of the desk made tools that's, or organizers that's available is the desk made fi uh, die file, which is this right here. You can use it setting this direction, or you can set it up on end, like magazine rack style. It comes with several shelves that are removable and a box of strips of magnets. It's not pre-magnetized for you because you get to decide where you want them. So these are all the different strips. I'm going to start with four. And um, you just going to, all you have to do is peel this paper off the back of the sticky side and um, stick it onto the board where you want. That way you can arrange it based on what kind of dies you're trying to organize whether they're small or large. So I'm going to peel off uh, one of the strips and to reveal the adhesive, it's a very strong adhesive, stick it down on the flat side of one of the file um, uh, dividers. This is, these are all made from MDF wood that has been painted and sealed. And it's I like it because it's um, a totally neutral color and it will work with any you know any decor but you can't but because they don't have any kind of gloss coating on them you can totally paint them if you want to spray paint them or custom paint them to your liking you could totally do that so I'm gonna put four on here and let's see how the dies work on them I, I try to keep them in the package they come from or I have been trying and you know that packaging can only stand, handle so much opening and closing before it just rips on you and they start, you know, when they fall and you lose them. So here, see, they stick right on the magnet and they don't come off. This is going to, and it saves me so much room. I mean, I can get a lot of dies on this one sheet. I think I'm going to organize the dies by the brand. So I'm going to do sort, sort of my lawn fawn dies here on this um, file that doesn't have, dies that don't have a coordinating stamp set. So sort of those standalone dies. So I'd have some leaves and some banners. And I have this nested set. And these four dies all kind of work together. I'm noticing the way I've arranged the magnets, though, the four dies don't totally fit. I can't get them all nested together. So the easy fix for that is the genius of the die file. And that is that you get to place the strips of magnet where you want. Now they're easy, they're very thin die uh, magnets, so you could cut them with scissors too. So I just added another strip and now I'll be able to nest all four of these dies together. I, I like the idea of keeping the dies together, the, all that came in one package all together in one spot. So that's great. And then they'll just slide right in here. And now a little tip, you can actually put magnets on the underside as well and store dies on the top and the bottom of these. Um, die files, which is particularly handy if you choose to organize it um, right side up instead. Now you can stack other die other files on top if you wanted to. I'm going to actually put my big shot on here. My workspace has a shelf right above it, so I'm a little bit limited. So that's just how I made it work for my space. The next desk made product I want to talk about is the Pen and Ink Palace. Of course, you can put whatever you want in here, but it's designed specifically for different kinds of ink pads or pens. And this is made out of the same high quality material as the die file. And all these little shelves are something that you can pull out, which is pretty cool. And they have a little stopper on the back, so your, your, your products aren't going to fall down behind, which is nice. And then the top, of course, you have a four-sided tray. So I have a lot of pins, and um, I'm always digging through them, trying to find the right color. It's just kind of a nightmare. And I've tried storing them in, in cups and in boxes and in um, uh, marker storage that you zip up. And 
I, I need to be able to see it. I need to see what I have and I and I love being able to see the colors too. So I'm going to organize the pins by the kind of pin they are and just start filling up my uh, pen and ink palace. I love that it's called that, a pen and ink palace. Does not sound like um, so fancy. <laughs> This is so set. This was so satisfying to put together too. I loved organizing all the all the pens by color. These particular pens are um, are like a fine liner pen, and with a .88 tip. Um, they're really fun for doodling and for um, journaling, and I really enjoy using them for uh, my uh, bullet journaling. And then I have some twin tip. These are the dual ended pens. See how I'm organizing everything sort of by color. I think it'll be make it easier for me to find the kind of pen that I'm looking for. Then I have all my highlighters. And then I think I'm gonna put my micron pens. Micron, oh, ultimate pen of all time. Gotta have micron pens. And then in this clear box, I've had my paints and my paint markers. Um, but it's always a habit because it's always stacked with other stuff on top and below it. And it's, I, it's a whole process to get the stuff out so I can use it. So I'm excited to have the paint and the, and the paint markers accessible all the time and organized by color. So cool. And I added, I put in my most used ink pads. I have a lot of ink pads, but there's a few that I use constantly on almost every project. So those are the ones I chose to put in there. I might change my mind later and put more pens in there as my collection grows. We'll see. That looks really nice next to my um, die file there. Next is the Tool Caddy. This is also from Duskmade. And this Tool Caddy, um, you can use it either this direction or the other direction, depending on what you're using. You know, this particular um, uh, Duskmade organizer is also really great for the bathroom. Um, you can organize your makeup brushes and um, your different soaps and lotions and all kinds of things. It's also great in um, the garage for if you have an assortment of like tools of tools that you use all the time, it'd be great there. Um, uh, and artists might like it. I see I'm putting my paint brushes, um, my Exacto knives, um, the, some of the liquid adhesive I use like all the time on most of my projects. It's a ruler, um, glue pens, stuff that I use um, most most every project or or so and then this is not a desk made but I wanted to throw this one in here this is a stash and store little um, toe that has this rubberized top that is very very flexible so you can put this very thin items like a pencil and and much wider items and you just you just poke them in wherever you want to and they stand straight up it'll even hold an eight inch pair of heavy-duty scissors um, and that's just really handy and I, I oftentimes if I'm going to let's say go and, and color um, somewhere else. I might put all the pins I want in there and then take that with me. And finally, this is the Stampin' Supply Stadium. So this is the sixth level stadium and you can put anything from wood mounted stamps, you can put ink pads, you can put washi, um, all, I mean, this is like, you name it. This is also, if you're a nail artist and you like to display your nail um, polish, this particular, um, Desk, uh, storage is great for that because you can, it displays everything so you can see it really well. And with that in mind, I thought it'd be perfect for displaying and all of my um, glitter glues and my Nuvo drops um, and the, some of my most used embellishments like sequins and uh, the wash tape I use a lot and then definitely my alcohol ink as well because I want to be able to, this is stuff that I want to be able to see the color where this is pretty much all going for me going to all the embellishments. And so I'll be matching them to projects I'm working on. Being able to see the color there instead of having to dig through that bag or through a box um, is going to be a lot more efficient. And I think I'm going to use this product even more because it'll be right there in front of me. And plus, look how pretty it looks, right? So my Nuvo drops fit perfect there. I love, I love that. Then I'm adding sequins and my um, glitter glue. And um, go ahead and put my alcohol ink in there too. And then, you know, I had a little bit of extra room. Um, so I decided to add a few of my other most used things that kind of 
um, didn't really work as well in, in the tool caddy. So I ended up putting a couple of stamping blocks and um, the applicator for the alcohol ink and a couple of corner rounders and some twine as well in this box so or in this display unit this is going to be so handy to just be able to reach for what i want i love I, it was so satisfying putting the colors in order in the way that i wanted them i know it's not standard roy g biff but i liked this this color organization works for me i might change it later but i do think it's quite pretty <laughs> There goes the clear, the clear blocks that I, those are, you know, I have more, but I'm putting the ones that I, you know, use the most often. A couple tape runners that I, you know, that I'm going to use the most often, that kind of thing. Only the twine that I use the most. Um, that bit, that larger purple is the, is my uh, purple tape that I use for holding down stencils and for watercoloring, that kind of thing, masking. And then just the washi that I, I even use that mostly like in my planner. So, and the little rotary stamp there that I use for my planner as well. That looks great. I was so happy to get this done and it gave me a lot more space to be able to work as well and um, it's definitely an inspiring place to work and I upgraded my trimmer.